everyone. I just want to check in uh, here um, at a crucial part of the course. Uh, we're at the end of week three, beginning of week four. And week four is the reading of Hans Jonas's Technology and Responsibility, Reflections on the New Tasks of Ethics. This is the turning point in the course. And um, this video is really not necessary because I've explained before that this is a turning point in the course. And I've broken up the reading into three parts for this coming week uh, with three different discussion boards. And all of that is meant to uh, emphasize that this text needs to be read very carefully and you need to put the time in to understand what he's, what he's getting at. It's not an easy read, but it's very uh, rewarding. Uh, I'm not saying that we necessarily agree with Jonas. Kind of the point of the course from this point on is whether or not you do personally agree with Jonas, and that's what I want to hear from you. Um, of course, to have an opinion on that, whether Jonas was right, you have to read it and understand it, and you have to think about both its relation to, let's say, Kant and utilitarianism, because that's certainly those two moral theories, along with, with, with several others, are definitely in his mind, um, but you have to think about how this, the thesis here, the so-called Jonas thesis, and I'm talking about, relates to the issues that we have discussed uh, so far and will discuss. So all of that is a matter of opinion, a matter of your judgment, but it's a matter of your informed opinion. So it's, it's quite important that you read this carefully. There are a number of videos up. I may put more up, um, considering how crucial uh, this is. There are certain key points in Jonas. There is the fundamental thesis that because of the power of modern technology, our received traditional forms of ethics are to some extent obsolete so that we need a new ethics. Um, that, that in short, in, in summary, uh, is what I'm calling the Jonas thesis. Uh, there are other aspects of this that are equally important. For instance, the whole idea of the city uh, has to be understood. The whole traditional idea of the city, which is not just a geographical boundary, but a, but a I don't know what to say, a moral boundary as well. That is the notion that human beings originally uh, can find ethics, morality, justice to the city, that is to the enclosure of the human world, which was a kind of a, uh, a retreat within larger nature and how that, again, the growth of technology has in a certain way burst the boundaries of the city so that all of nature is now a um, <clears throat> the city or a matter of moral concern. That has to be understood too. And, and I'm just thinking of the most prominent things that I have to read the essay quite carefully, I think. And I would say that finally, you know, one of the, the most prominent problems or issues in the essay is what do we do now? That is, what would a new ethics look like once we do actually take responsibility for our technology, uh, according to Jonas, and once we do acknowledge that our old ways of conceiving of ethics were too anthropocentric, too localized in time uh, to be sufficient for the kind of decisions that we need to make now, what do we do now? How do we, what, what would that new ethics look like? That's a quite important part of the essay and perhaps the most difficult because it's not clear and Jonas is honest about that, that he does not have a ready-made new ethics to replace what he thinks is the, the, the old, uh, you know, in some ways obsolete ethics. Um, I, I think that one, one of the things that comes out of it, this essay, in terms of what that new ethics would look like is humility. Uh, and so I would say that the, the most fundamental thesis of the, the new ethics, if there is one, is that the, uh, no, our knowledge of the effects of our large technological decisions, let's say the decision to build the, the internet or our decision, decision to develop nuclear power, 
for our decision uh, to pursue artificial intelligence or our decision to, let's say, maybe at some point um, uh, redesign the human genome, uh, things like that, 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 that our knowledge or our ability to anticipate the effects of these things is far outstripped uh, by the potential danger of these things, if that makes sense. And I may be comparing, and Jonas may be comparing to a degree two different types of things, but we'll, our, our knowledge will never be adequate to our power. And, and so one of the things that comes up with, comes out of this is that we have to be willing to forego new technologies if it, if, if we cannot responsibly um, implement them, which is a big and important issue, I think, for the human species. Because as Jonas is well aware, human beings are not uh, in the habit of not taking advantage of science and not taking advantage of developments in technology to their material gain. That's not something that we are very good at. Not doing something that we could is not something that human beings have ever been good at. So the restraint that's being called for uh, may be unrealistic. I'm not sure, but in his mind, definitely needed. So there was just some of the, the big ideas, I think, that come out of Jonas's essay. I cannot, again, emphasize more, uh, can, I can't emphasize enough how important an understanding of this essay is, because this is the turning point of the class.